everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys have really been enjoying the vlogmas series so far and this video is definitely to me the most important one in the entire series because i can finally share with you guys my business and i'm launching that here in this video so i thought i would take you on a little bit of a journey with me of how i kind of came up with the idea and why i chose to follow it through and create this little business so it is a physical product so that's your little sneak peek but I have the Instagram set up for it I have a shop set up for it and you can absolutely purchase after this video if you would like to support my business and I would absolutely love you for it so super quick reminder if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button I put up new videos every single week now for this business i feel like this was something that i have always kind of wanted to have i do have another small little business called moonlighter which is little sleep masks and that's a very tiny business it's very limited kind of quantities of things that i ordered but it was something that i really fell in love with and this idea is very similar it's something that i use all the time either every day or every weekend and I hadn't really seen a good quality version of what I wanted and being that I am a designer in my real nine to five job, I kind of get a little bit frustrated sometimes when it comes to clothing or a product and it's just not quite how I would have wanted it. So enter the Slow Living Co and that is the name of my business and basically the concept behind that all started as most good things do from a Pinterest mood board. So I might quickly show you through a ton of the Pinterest things that I was collecting to kind of really start up with the the branding and the colors and the sort of look and feel of this business and I'll just pop that on screen for you guys now but basically I really love having this kind of collection of quotes and I initially got back into Pinterest last year when I was making myself a vision board and I just come across so many of these beautiful neutral beigey tones things that had real shadow play and a lot of those little elements of life that just encourage you to slow down which is certainly something that a lot of us have been forced into doing the last two years and I do think that although there were some negative sides to that there were also a bunch of beautiful positives to come out of that as well and for me that was reconnection to a lot of simple and slower activities in life whether that is going to the market or you know slowing down and cooking a recipe that might actually take some time or you have to read through it and all of those sort of little things that create those really pauses and just like still moments in life where you can actually almost feel yourself calming down and lowering those kind of cortisol levels and really just enjoying what you're doing and not kind of thinking about what's next. So that was the concept behind the Slow Living Co. And I will show you exactly what the product is now. So I will pop in a little bit of B-roll of me standing up with this and trying it on as well. But it is this beautiful little tote bag. So if I hold it up like this, it is on some thick canvas straps and it has my logo that I created on the front of it down here. And that says the Slow Living Co. And it also has in this circle here, Slow Living Co. written around a couple of times. And as you can see, it's this beautiful canvasy material. And on top, it has this mesh paneling, but it's sort of a thicker grid mesh than what you would normally get on these kind of market totes. And the strap is also equally really thick, really good quality, definitely not going to break. And it's really comfortable to sit over your shoulder as well. So I might just pop that up here next to me, but the name of these is the Minimalist Market Tote and I'm selling them over on Etsy for the moment until I get a formal kind of website set up, which is going to be in collaboration with my actual design business that will be kind of launching next year. But at the moment, I thought that these were a really beautiful first product to kind of release from that range. And it's something that I personally use every single weekend when I go to the market or if I'm popping down to the beach. So currently this one right now just has a towel in it because that's what I was using uh, on the weekend when it was really, really nice weather here in Melbourne. So they are $25 each. I will leave you guys the link to my Etsy store down below. And I would absolutely love if you support my business. So as a 
little incentive for the month of December. If you purchase two bags, I am going to pop in one of my Moonlight Asleep masks, which is worth $30 for free. So that's my little thank you to you guys. Perhaps you can get a bag for yourself and another one to give away. It's a Christmas present for a friend and it would absolutely mean the world to me if this is something that you could see yourself using. So I wanted to get into probably the most important kind of backing characteristic of why I wanted this product as well. And that is definitely eco-friendly sort of products and sustainability. So if you pop back to a couple of videos, I have had a little bit of a thread running through of sort of trying to do things quite often that are really good replacements around the home, whether that be cleaning products or recycling methods, upcycling of furniture, and all of these kind of practices that we can personally introduce to reduce our footprint. And that's something that is really important to me and constantly at the forefront of my mind because we do live in quite a heavily consumerist society. So for me, I noticed that when I was just going to the supermarket and getting my groceries, there was often a lot of plastic packaging on the food and it was really, really unnecessary. I'm talking like bananas wrapped up on a tray with glad wrap over them or, you know, a packet of mandarins in a plastic packet. And this is stuff that people are purchasing every single week, potentially multiple times a week, and none of it is biodegradable. It was all hard plastic and I really just kind of hated that. So it got me going back into the markets where you can just cruise around and purchase all of your food and this is the perfect size for that it is a really generously sized tote as well so again I will leave all of the dimensions and everything down below but I find that I can fit so much in here when when I take this to the market the best bit is that it has the solid base because a lot of those bags they were really thick gridded mesh and a lot of my things would either end up poking through them or I'd be worried that I'd like lose my car keys or something so it was really important to me to find a bag where I could have a beautiful solid base and also for the mesh on the top to really add that beautiful kind of market aesthetic where you can see what's inside and you can see all of your green goodies but I definitely wanted it to be practical and that also boils down to the strap and why I wanted it to be, first of all, definitely not going to break. And secondly, just comfortable because there's nothing worse than a really thin sort of strap digging into your shoulder. And particularly over the warmer months when we don't sort of have, you know, anything covering your shoulder, if you've got something digging in, it can just be so uncomfortable and it would really put me off using it. So that first of all was to reduce the plastic consumption and use. And also these are eco-certified cotton as well which is really wonderful and the other step is the way that I will send them to you so if you were local I could organize pickup but otherwise if I'm posting it I am using compostable mailers and they are from a brand called no issues so I will grab them for you so I can show you but it was really important for me to not just go the cheaper route and grab some random plastic mailers I really wanted this entire journey to be as holistic as possible and they only cost a fraction more so in my opinion anyone who can afford that little bit more of an expense should definitely kind of use that as a part of their business because it just gives me peace of mind that that kind of more useless part of the packaging that you're going to tear open and grab the product out of is going to biodegrade and be compostable. Now, thankfully the products are quite light and do roll up quite small as well. So I've just gone for these small size mailers. And like I said, this is the 100% compostable mailer from No Issue. And I just think these are so great. So it's made out of plant material like corn and it says that it will disappear within six months, which is just amazing because I always was really curious when something claims to be compostable that like, how long does that really mean? Because if it's going to be over a course of like 10 years, then it's not exactly as biodegradable as I would like because it's still going to take up room in landfill. So this is the Etsy storefront where you can purchase the bags and I just did the postage separate. So $25 is the cost and it's $10 for postage and that is a flat rate no matter how many you purchase. And I just thought it was better to price it this way because if I included the postage and you purchase multiple, it kind of keeps charging you that higher amount every time. So I just wanted it to be as affordable as possible so everyone can get their hands on one. And I've really worked my absolute hardest to create a beautiful product 
and I hope that you really love this minimalist market tote. So for the photo shoot, I used one of my co-workers at my normal job and her name is Anna. She is a beautiful Russian girl at my work and we've become really good friends. So I asked her if she wouldn't mind doing a couple of photos of me and a few of her. So I'll share those with you guys now because I think they turned out really, really well. today's video. If you guys have any questions about the product or my business, I would love to hear them down in the comments below. And of course, like I said, the link to the store is also in the description box. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.